Hi guys, and welcome to the battle of the comfort liquid lipsticks. I know those two words don't really sound like they should go together, but we're gonna explore a few different brands today which are some good options for comfort matte lipsticks for people with incredibly dry, dry lips. But I had to check out the new Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips, which are a liquid lipstick, and I picked up the shade Screen Siren, which is a beautiful, beautiful red, and I was so surprised with the results that I actually decided to make this video. We will save this one for last because it is a red, so it does kind of stain the lips just a little bit. So let's talk about the NARS Lip Glides. I made another video swatching a few different colors of these, but we're just gonna talk about Bound for now. And these lip glides are one of my favorite formulas because they're almost like a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss. They're a very thin kind of moussey texture. They don't really dry on the lips, um, so they don't have a lot of lasting power, but they're easy to apply over themselves, and they're very kind to dry, flaky lips. Next, I felt compelled to talk about the Jouer Lip Creams. Um, these are a liquid lipstick, and they were really, really hyped up on YouTube. A lot of people loved them and said they were very comfortable, but I do believe those people didn't have lips quite as dry as mine. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm not even gonna swatch this on my lips for you today. Just because this is incredibly drying, when you apply it, it's a really kind of thin, liquidy texture, which is nice, but somehow it doesn't get into the lip lines. So if you stretch your lip, you'll see lines where there's no pigment. And I wore this for about an hour, and my lips felt so dry that I just like had to scrub it off, and it was very hard to remove. So the lasting power is very good on this one, but definitely not for dry lips. Next I have the Burberry Liquid Lip Velvet. These are kind of similar to the NARS Lip Glide idea in that they're very moussey. Um, they're not really a liquid lipstick. So they don't dry down, but compared to the NARS ones, this is a very thick mousse. So when you put it on the lips, it really feels like there's a layer of something sitting on top of your lips. It almost feels like frosting. Not that I've put frosting on my lips, but that's kind of what I imagine it would feel like. And this is in the shade Fawn. Because these are a more moussey texture, they don't set on the lips. Um, so they aren't transfer proof, they do wear off. Again, they're easier to apply on top of themselves. I would say these are very comfortable and they come in a lot of natural flattering colors, but I would place this a little bit lower on my list just because I don't really like the sensation that there's something thick sitting on top of my lips. Next, I wanted to talk about my YSL lip vinyls and this is in the shade 407. And this is actually one of my favorite lip products of all time because it's really kind to dry lips. It's interesting because it applies as a very thin liquid. It feels more like a lip gloss on the lips instead of a mousse, but it does kind of set, so it creates a layer that acts like a barrier that keeps the moisture locked into your lips and also keeps it from transferring too much on stuff. I would say it sets about 90%, so you do get just a little bit of transfer, but it doesn't really wear off on the lips. Lastly, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips in Screen Siren. It has a really interesting applicator. It's like a doe foot, but it has a little concavity in the middle of one side, so it contours to your lips. And I would describe this as a very thin, kind of liquidy mousse. This particular one dries down to kind of a satin matte, but she does have also shimmers in her collection. And I kind of love these. This one is also supremely comfortable, like you barely notice it on your lips and it's a liquid lipstick. So that was really strange to me because um, most of the time they're a little bit annoying on dry lips, but I kind of forgot I was wearing this and I actually wore it to Starbucks for like a few hours and I was drinking coffee and the red was coming off like all over the coffee cup. So I just assumed that it was gone. And then when I got up to go to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror, it was all still there and it hadn't like moved or gotten anywhere on my face. And I was really surprised um, because you know, the red lip, takes so long to get it perfect on your lips and you just want it to stay where it is and not have to reapply it. So this thing is actually really magical. And this and the YSL are what I would consider the only true liquid lipsticks, just because these are the only ones that really set on the lips. The other ones do stay a little bit more of a moussey or glossy texture. And I do think one of the reasons why the Charlotte Tilbury liquid lipstick is so comfortable is because it does only set about 95%. So it sets just enough that it doesn't really like come off of the lips, 
um, but it's not like drying, like sucking the moisture out of your lips. So that's why you do get a little bit of transfer, but I was really pleased with the formula of this one. So in order of my favorites, I do think the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood lips is number one. The YSL lip vinyl would be my number two. The NARS lip glides are a very comfortable three. The Burberry lip velvet sadly comes in number four. And lastly, the Jouer. Please don't forget to give this video a like if you have found it helpful and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I will talk to you all again really soon. Bye!